guys. So today I'm going to share with you our footage from Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then today, which is actually the 27th, um, because we opened presents on all of those days. And also I cast on for my Christmas Eve cast on socks, which is something that if you're a knitter, then you know about. Um, but if you're not a knitter, which probably most of you are not, um, it's just where you cast on a, a selfish project for yourself on Christmas Eve. And I picked socks. So I've included the footage of me actually winding the yarn and then um, me actually knitting a little bit on them. So just basically this uh, footage today is pretty much just selfish for my memories. Um, of course, I hope that you guys enjoy it too, but I've included things that are like really meaningful to me about this stuff. Just like some stuff with me and Fairby snuggling and her opening gifts she did really good it was so cute and you guys will see in a minute um but also the stuff with me knitting like to me that's like christmas to tradition for myself so you know it, it means a lot to me to look back on that and be like oh i remember doing that you know so anyways but we're gonna get into the video and it's a really long video which you guys have probably seen from the timestamp already yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this and i hope you had a really merry christmas and we will talk to you soon in the camera thank you let me see let's see what therapy got let's see it's so cool it's a polaroid camera for doggies and it has a picture of this friend on there and it has a rope handle so you make sure you carry it real good and it squeaks somewhere right here it squeaks good you want to hold it take it by its handle there you go can you back up hold it oh my gosh that's so good We got snow. Wanna see? Do you see it? What is all that? What is it, Faraby? Oh my goodness. What is that? Wow, I know we did good. We got a good snow for Christmas. That's a good kind. We usually get a icy crap kind. That's really good gonna be all blown away by the time sun comes up good girl oh my goodness <laughs> she's pushing it around her nose oh wow it's ah. christmas morning so i'm ready Farabee and i already went for a walk and did all of our stuff we had to do so anyway here is our our christmas princess she's already messed her hair up i literally just did her hair about maybe like three minutes before she started eating. So, anyways, you ready to go eat or go get go eat Christmas? You ready to go get some Christmas presents? Yeah. What do you think? You want to go have Christmas? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh wow.
Do you take? Do you have a note, Miss? Perry is loving opening gifts. You playing paper? Is it so fun? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs>
A hog? Oh my gosh, you are a hoggy. Are you a little piggy? You want to eat that paper? We're not going to eat that paper. Mm. Are you a hoggy? Are you a hoggy baby? You got you already got so much, and then you're trying to take paper and eat it. What are you doing? Huh? You're the best. You're the best girl. I know. Did you have a fun Christmas so far? I hope you have.
so now we're just sitting here hanging out um about to watch i think some people put out their final vlogmas and i'm gonna work on my socks this is as far as i got last night on them so i have two little sock toes <laughs> and that's exciting though i really love to knit and i kind of gotten out of it for a while so i'm really glad that i'm feeling like it again so it's fun um and it snowed last night a little bit not a lot but just enough to like you know I don't know. It made me feel really Christmassy and excited. And like I said, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I've got my coffee in my cup. <laughs> so I've got my coffee, my knitting. I'm going to watch some Vlogmases. And I don't think we're going to do WALK. I'm planned on it. But then the wind chill is like 16 degrees. So I think we're going to stay in. Um, I think she's had enough fun anyway. Like, because she got to open up she opened up my presents too like i let her just open everything as far as the paper goes so you know she's got to do a lot and then she still has all the paper to play in because i always leave the paper down um for my kids which therapy's the only one now but you know their whole forever like i've always just left the paper in the floor for them for the all of Christmas Day to play in because it's fun. You know, they're little and they like to rip it and they don't always get paper on the floor like that. Yes. There's so. a problem with my Christmas Eve cast on. <laughs> so I was knitting it. This is how far I've got. And I did a 33 stitch on the front, 33 on the back. So 66 stitches total around the whole sock, um, which is like normal for me. And these are a size zero, size zero. And I was like, gosh, that looks really big. So counted my stitches. I have the right amount of stitches, but I decided I would just put this part on my foot because I know how it should fit. I've knit enough socks. Look how big this thing is. This sock is huge. That actually worked out really well. So I've ripped it all back and wound my yarn noodles back onto here. <laughs> I mean, back into their ball. And I've picked up all my stitches, which it's not really working out. Show you, cause dark, it's dark. It's like 9.30 at night. So anyway, but I've picked it up. Now I have 29 stitches on each side, but I'm gonna tink back two rows. The reason I saved enough to tink back some is so I can make sure that my stitches are all like on the right row because there's you knit a row and then you increase on a row so I wanted to make sure that I was on the same place really and truly because I do two at a time so that would be bad to have one you know ahead of the other one so or to not know about it so I'm gonna actually tink back two rows and then I guess start my knitting again but I'm really surprised that they were that big. So I'm wondering how much smaller I should go. So it's later, it is the 27th, which is actually two days after Christmas. And it's also Fairby's 20 month birthday. But on Christmas, we didn't open everything. Um, I let her open one thing on Christmas Eve, which you guys saw, which was the little camera, the camera. And then we opened everything except for what we're about to open now uh, on Christmas. So I got a calendar. Lenses for her glasses. It's 
Farabee got sunglasses, and then I got her a pack of extra lenses. And then, oh, what is this? It's a Rex Spec patch. That is so cute. Yeah! Good job. got this patch which is super cool it's like a rubbery one and then she got this pair of shoes and this pair of shoes and then obviously all the other stuff I showed this is just the stuff that's still down here and then she got this really cool toy So the coolest part is we had snow flurries, not real snow, but enough. We had enough snow on Christmas Eve. Um, and so it was really cold and on Christmas day, it was like, I don't know, in the twenties all day. So it was freaking cold and it felt like Christmas. It never feels like Christmas, but today is the 27th and it's going to be like in the mid fifties. So it's already like 52 or something so we're able to come outside and sit in the sunshine and enjoy the day so it's been an awesome christmas weekend um christmas week whatever we've had a lot of fun we got to go look at christmas lights earlier this week i'm not going to include that because um all the christmas lights that we went to see are ones that you actually turn your radio on in your car and the uh the lights go with the music and it's not, you know, it's copyrighted music for sure. So I'm not going to include that. We're going to go. I hope you guys had a really Merry Christmas and we will see you soon. Oh, and also you guys probably noticed <laughs> I put this together pretty much just for like our memories. So, or for my memories, I guess, because Fairby probably isn't going to look at it like that. Um, 
but yeah so this is a bonus episode so have a merry christmas weekend <laughs> bye guys <laughs>